channel. Uh, my name is Corey, with Skinny Fat Duck. And today, we are going to make this more audible than it was last time. So you're welcome for that. <laughs> I think I said last broadcast that this was an area I struggled with a lot Be back careful. in the day. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. I forgot about her. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Let's introduce ourselves to Nastasha, Nastasha, something, whatever. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the Hi. nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned. That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Alright. They're going that way. I still love the music in this game. anything in particular I needed off this bottom floor. I guess I'm gonna go see. Another down there. Another down there. Another down there. Hey, there's a chaff grenade. Alright. guy doing ah uh, poops nope 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 you 
you've seen enough. Go on. Is that a thing I can crawl into? That is not a thing I can crawl into. Alright. Back to the elevator. We're gonna go to basement one. Because I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. But that's what we're gonna try first. So we'll see. Oh yeah. No, I can't go that way yet. Alright, so the controls aren't exactly the best on this. It's a little challenging, I guess, doing this on a different system. Or a different thing than what it was designed for anyway. Alright, so we got a guy going that way. Oh. No, oh, no. Okay, he went that way, so let's get this stuff. And there's some stuff under desks here. I guess not. Oh yeah, Nikita launcher. Come here. All right. Well, I guess we go back down even further. Hmm. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, Lord. I don't like this part. I'm real sorry. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Alright. First off, I have no gas mask. So that's not going to help. Holy crap, am I actually going to do this on the first try? What? Alright. Y'all got nothing on me. I'm now going to die in a room with no... Uh, dangerous items so just be <laughs> just be prepared for that no but I'll get inside I've, I've played through this like a thousand times I'm pretty sure I have never been able to get through that without at least hitting something or getting shot at some point 
Um, that's, uh, oh god. Alright, 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 all right, look. I know I made a mistake. I think there was a ration in here. Let's go get some fresh air. Put on the gas mask. Well, that was stupid. One, four, three. Let's see. That's a six. That's a three. That's some more blowy epi things. That's a three. Need these missiles. One and done. You know what? Let's. This is making me nervous. Let's just remove the margin of error. Up here, that didn't work. Gas mask. No. Some fresh air. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the last spot where we have to deal with that, but as soon as I assume I know what I'm doing, it's gonna go sideways. Y'all know that, don't you? I really thought we'd end the episode around here. And I actually did an okay job. Oh god. This freaked me out back in the day. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Hmm. It's, it's a ghost. <sighs> Oh. Every time I play this game, I'm impressed with how cool it is. I mean... There's obviously, you know, stuff about it that it doesn't do as well as more modern games. But, again, just thinking about the, the time frame this was made. This stuff's ridiculous. Tinkle time. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? 
what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. Oh, Otacon. It, revenge? It is nothing so trivial. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. That's good, Snake. Good. Now, let's see if I can get through this easily as well. Let me grant I'm not playing this on hard or anything, but. Still. There's a, there's a PlayStation on the table there. Crap. Come on. It is a little annoying when you miss a thing, and I don't know why sometimes it lets you just hit once. Put that on. Ah, crap. Thanks, buddy. Hurry up and catch me. Da, 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 da. I'm here, Snake. Let's see. Where'd you go, pal? Better than nothing, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Go over here. Where are you? Ah! Crap. <laughs> Hurry up and catch. All right. Well, that didn't work. Oh, you're up here, ancient ninja. All right. Well, just one hit then, I guess. Well, crap. All right. Hurt me more. Hang on. We'll get this ration before I forget about it. <laughs> Dang it, I did it again. Yeah? Why do I keep doing that? Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle. 
the clashing of bone and sinew. Almost. <laughs> we almost got to. That's good, Snake. Thanks. Did I kill you with a foot punch? Or a foot kick? Oh, crap. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that. I think one time I actually died to that. Uh, the first time I <laughs> through the game. Don't freak out on the chair. Do I shoot him? I don't remember this. Okay. I'm not getting close to him. There you happy? I felt that snake. Yeah. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. <sighs> what? Not again. Talk to my neck. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? Oh. I'm not sure. Sorry. But he seems to be fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Mm, let's go talk to Pee Pee Man. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. It's so weird. You're 
uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. It's gonna be a longer episode. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah. But that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. S -s Damn. Language. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. Womp womp. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind, it's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? 
Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is, over there. <gasps> oh no, damn, they've spotted me. Meryl. What happened? Something's uh -oh. wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? Like I said, it gets worse. She's disguised as the enemy. You'll have to contact her when she's. To go forward in the series, if you hadn't played it before. There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where Ghost is places. That? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Oh my god, I forgot about Japan this. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. It's moving pretty good on that bad leg. Just saying.
additional power up face wipe. All right. We are going to wrap this up here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, give us a like. Consider subscribing.